Today we're going to talk about how we sort systems in ESDE. Essentially the order on your system view, like I'm showing here. We're going to talk through the stuff that's built into ASDE out of the box, and then also show you how to customize your own sorting. Let's get started. So I'm going to essentially show you what comes out of the box with ESDE. So I'm starting on Sega CD because I think it helps demonstrate the next point pretty well. But first, let's open up the menu, go to UI settings, and then scroll down to system sorting. Now I'm going to walk through each one of these options in detail. Let's start first with full names or custom. And full names, what it essentially does is it sorts the systems by their full alphabetical name, regardless of manufacturer, regardless of release year, it just uses the name. So let's look at that. So if I go back here, you can see I'm on Sega CD, so Sega C. If I go forward, I see Sega Dreamcast next for Sega D. And then Sega Game Gear after that, which is Sega G. So C, D, G, alphabetical, that's how that works. Um, another great option here is you go back into the main menu, system set UI settings, go to system sorting, and then check out release year. Now release year does probably what you expect. It's going to sort all of your systems by the year that they were released, regardless of manufacturer, regardless of hardware type. So this is a nice, like pure way to just see the lineage of systems over time. So if I select that and then go back in this case, because I have just Atari and Sega consoles, you could see it starts in 1977 with the Atari 2600. And as I go forward, 79, 82, 83, 85, and you could see, that we're intermixing consoles from different manufacturers in this order as well. So this is a really cool way to see like the flow of time for your systems. I like this one a lot. But let's say you want to group your systems together as if from a manufacturer perspective. A lot of people like to have all their Sega systems together, maybe all their Sony systems together, things like that. Go to system sorting and then select manufacturer and release here. What essentially this will do is it'll group all the consoles or systems from a given manufacturer together. And then within that group, it'll sort them by release year. So if I select that and go back, you can see all my Atari systems are now in a group. If I go back to 2600, you could see 77, 79, 82, 85, 86. They're sorted by release year within that group. If I go over to Sega, you could see what's cool here is it starts with the Sega SG-1000 in 83. And then it goes to Master System, Sega Genesis, Game Gear. So you can see a, a full history on display of all the systems that were released by a given manufacturer this way. Super neat. But let's say you want to sort by the type of hardware instead. You go to System Sorting. And then here you have an option called HW Type and Release Year. And HW Type essentially means hardware type. So let's select that. I'll show you what it means. So if you look here in the top, you could see it says arcade. Now arcade is a given type of hardware type in this case. So again, we're sorting alphabetically by hardware type in this case, and then release year. So it's arcade from 93 for the model two, and then arcade in 96 for the model three. And following that's gonna be computer. So here we could see, and this is computer in 1979, the Atari 800, followed by the Atari ST in 1985, and so on until we get to console. And then through console, following that, you'll probably get to portable. There you go. So that's a really simple way to see the hardware types or group things by hardware type. Um, but then we have another option, which is the final kind of <laughs> end all be all of all the options combined together. And it's called manufacturer, hardware type, and release here. So let's walk through it, right? What you could imagine here is happening is it's grouping everything by manufacturer first. And then within the manufacturer, it's then gonna group the systems by hardware type next. And then within hardware type, it's gonna group them by release year. So let's select that, go back. So if I go to Sega, you could kind of see this on display. So Sega is grouped together, but starts with arcade because that's the hardware type first of A. And then consoles follow after that. So in the case, Sega SG-1000, followed by the Master System, Genesis, Sega CD, 32X, and we're gonna end here with the Sega Game Gear, portable. But you can see within those groupings for console, for example, they're sorted by release here. So 83 for console, SG-1000, followed by 86, followed by 89, followed by 92, etc. 
So that's essentially all the built-in options for ESDE. But there was another option that I kind of glossed over at the beginning under full names or custom. And now we're gonna spend time focusing on the or custom part. So in ESDE, you could also supply your own sorting file that sorts the systems on this view. I'm basically gonna show you how to do that next. So for custom sorting, I'm gonna show a use case of sorting Sega before Atari. Now, if you remember what we just walked through in the other sorting options, that's not possible directly out of the box because manufacturer sorting is done alphabetically. So it would always show Atari before Sega. So there's a specific way to do this and it leverages a file called ES system sorting. Um, and basically it's an XML file. Now you could go ex create the XML file yourself by hand and edit it. But as you can see on screen here, we've also created a tool that you could just use to do it automatically. So I'm gonna to link to this tool below in the description. And the first tab of this tool has all the instructions with how to use this. So I'm not gonna to go too much into depth right now. Um, but if you have questions on these instructions, just hit me up in the comments below. But essentially what you're doing is you're gonna make a copy of the sheet, you're gonna add your sort files, um, and then you're going to output that and generate it into an XML file. That's essentially what this says. So let's go through that step by step though. Let's go to the source tab. Now in the source tab, again, my use case here is I wanna sort Sega before Atari. So what I'm using here is this column called system sort name. And system sort name essentially is the value that ESD will look at to sort systems in a particular order. So in this case, because I wanna keep all the Sega systems together, followed by all the Atari systems, I'm using a formula in this column called concat. And you can see for Atari, simple enough, I've set it to two dash the year the system was released. And then if I go to Sega, I have that set to one dash the year the system was released. So essentially what this will do is it's gonna sort all the Sega systems first, and then within that system, or within that grouping, it's gonna sort them by release year. And then it's gonna follow with Atari systems, O2, and sort those by release year within that group. So now that I have this built out and set up on my source tab, I'm gonna go over to the output tab. And on this tab, you don't need to touch anything. Essentially, you can see it's or, or, already automatically putting out the, the values you need and the structure you need as well. So what you're gonna do on this tab is go to File, Download, CSV. And once that's downloaded, you're gonna go back to the Instructions tab, and this basically will walk you through the steps you need to take on this website. And you could use any website you want. This is just what was easier for me. Essentially, this converts CSV files to XML. So now that I have that website open, I'm gonna choose the file I just created. I'm gonna open it. And if I go down to step five here, there's two values you need to fill in. I've already had them filled in already, but basically make sure top level's root name is set to system list in this structure, and then each record XML name is set to system. And you can see your output here. And then all you need to do is save your results and save it as es underscore systems underscore sorting dot XML. You download that. And now if I go over to my downloads folder and I take this file here, copy it, you're gonna to go to your ESD folder at this point. And there's a folder in here called custom systems. Open that and then paste this file in. And once that file is in place, what ESD is gonna do, and I'll show you that actually now, is by default you can see now I'm sorted by Atari. I go back into UI settings and then change this back to custom or full name. It's gonna use that file that I just put in place. And the first system we should see here is the Sega SG-1000. And there you go. So Sega systems are sorted first followed by Atari. So that's how you generate custom system sorting. Hope that made sense. And again, if you have any questions at all, just hit up us in the comments and you could use that tool that I was showing here before, however you like. You can create whatever custom sorts you want, just add them here, export them, and you're good. All right, thanks so much, and uh, talk to you soon.